guys, Anthony here from Signal by Sony, a show about everything Sony makes. Right now, we're gonna focus on the newest Vio Z laptop that was announced earlier this summer. Each time a new version is released, the engineers really have to step up their game. And we got our hands on the newly released Vio Z so we can tear it open and see what's different about it this time. But we didn't just take it apart ourselves. This time, we got help from one of the actual creators of the Vio Z. He's come here all the way from Tokyo to crack open the new laptop for Signal fans. Joining me now in the studio is Shinji Oguchi, one of the engineers who created the Vio Z, and Nobuyasu Nozawa, who heads up the Vio team in the U.S. Uh, Oguchi-san, I hear that this is your first visit to the U.S. Yes, it's the first time to come to the U.S. It's very exciting. Excellent, glad to have you here. Uh, you took apart the Vio Z for us, and you did it super, super fast. Obviously, design for something like that is very intricate, and people love to see how it works. You see tons of teardown videos of the Vio Z on the internet. How does it feel to, uh, to watch people make their own teardown videos? え、大変関心を持ってもらっているお客様の好奇心を刺激できているというふうに思うので、とても光栄に思います。Mm -hmm. So actually, it is not recommended sure. that you break it apart <laughs> because it might cause the damages. Yeah. But I personally feel that I'm honored because a lot of people are, are you know, uh, stimulated to do that because they love Z series. Sure. Yeah. Excellent, yeah. Um, so we've taken it apart here. I mean, let's really take a look inside. We, we've taken two laptops apart today, uh, one of the previous generation Zs and the new generation Z, so we can really show you what's changed. Um, we've got the old one right here. I mean, the first thing you can see is the different layout. I mean, the parts are stacked in the older model, which is right here, and uh, then they're flat in the new model. And you can see the difference. Um, especially when you look at the casings of the old and new. So uh, tell us about some of the engineering that went into making the new layout and why you went with flat instead of stacked. First of all, you so first of all, you know, in order to realize a super thin form factor, mm -hmm. we decided to go for a single uh, mounting uh, design. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, we decided to go for a dual fan uh, design as well in order to make the whole uh, heat sink yeah. thinner. Cool. So, I mean, tell us about the uh, the cooling vents and the fans and, and what's changed there mm -hmm. in terms of the body of the computer. First それからさらに。So we managed to optimize the efficiency of their air intake by having this inlet on the side of the keyboard. Okay. Like you saw, and also uh, through the keys of the keyboard. Yeah, you can see the little... Yeah, a little hose. Yeah. yeah. You have another inlet uh, at the bottom of the cabinet. By doing so, we managed to realize a very cool and uh, less noise fan architecture. Okay, so the old BioZ used a hybrid graphic system. Does the new BioZ use the same system? Uh, hybrid to do it. Uh, it's not hybrid graphics. Okay, so what is the uh, graphic solution on the new BioZ? Mm. This time it is okay. available as a dedicated graphics card on the external power media dock. Okay, which you have uh, taken apart there. This is the this is the full one. This has the graphics card on it, but it looks like you've also got the optical drive on here. Can you tell us exactly uh, what what kind of stuff do we have on the on the media dock here? One of them is the uh, slot in optical drive. Okay. Yep. So there's a uh, dedicated graphics card just underneath this pipe. Okay. Yep. So these ports for the exp expandability. Okay. Yep. Uh, and how is this all connecting? It looks like you guys are using a, a custom connector there. Yeah. So this time we are using uh, our custom-made connection uh, technologies mm -hmm. uh, based on the Intel's architecture, okay. called named Lightpeak. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. So with this uh, single connection, you can power the optical drive from the system, and also on the other end, you can uh, this graphics card can drive 
uh, the system with extra horsepower as well. Very cool. And let's talk a little bit about the slot loading drive. I saw a teardown video of the old BioZ uh, where it was using the tray loading drive, mm. and there were the person who made the video showed a little bit of concern mm. about using a tray system and the mm. exposure of the disc. Mm. Can you tell us what happened with the uh, the redesign? Media ni kizugo tsuku kanosei ga aru node, sounyu guchi no shita ni. Mm. So in order to avoid uh, the possibility of having a you know scratch mm -hmm. on the disc itself, okay. so we designed this uh, uh, entry shape mm -hmm. in a way that there is a little arc, okay. so that you can have less contact between the disc and uh, the. the oh, so the there's actually like a slight curve here yeah, on the top. Curve. Yeah, Yeah. Well, this thing looks awesome. I love this. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about. The new hinge design as well, because I know you guys completely redesigned the hinges. Can you tell us a little bit about that? One of the reason is for the aesthetic reason. Another reason is that when you open the LCD, it actually lifts up the bottom cabinet. Okay. So, in doing so, you know, since you know the bottom cabinet is lift up, mm -hmm. lifted up, there will be a space where you can take in there. Oh, okay. In order to cool down the system. So it actually helps with with vents and airflow as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. And at the same time, you can have a you know a little uh, tilted keyboard, right? So right. you can have a more comfortable. Typing experience as well. Oh, awesome! Yeah. That's very cool. Okay, other things about the design. Does the uh, does the new Z use a standard voltage CPU? <laughs> yes. Okay, cool. And uh, talking about the materials, is this made of the same materials as the old Z? This time, in order to further accelerate the lightness, mm -hmm. uh, we use the carbon fiber material okay. both on the lead as well as the bottom. And you were telling me that this, that has something to do with uh, actual the toughness or the rigidity as mm. well. Can you talk a little bit about the mm. new design? Mm. So by having this side, you know, uh, standing up this way mm -hmm. and uh, having this keyboard, uh, palm rest, uh, in, in case this way, mm -hmm. then you know we realize this uh, hexagonal shape. Okay. Yes. It leads to uh, higher durability. Okay. Yeah. So it's super light and then it's extra durable this time around as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's talk about battery design. Mm. Yeah. Again, in order to uh, realize a mm -hmm. form factor, we use the polymer, lithium polymer battery. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that um, is that a fully internal battery or is that? Uh, an external that mm. pops out, or how does that work? Mm. Uh, mm. Mm. So in order to uh, increase the rigidity mm -hmm. of the whole system, uh, we decided to uh, embed this battery by the screws. Okay, but it is it is actually uh, accessible through screws. Yes, it okay. is accessible. Cool. Okay, I think we've seen all the key parts of the laptop now, but I heard that you brought in something extra for Signal fans. This time I brought a mock-up that initiated this whole project. So this is when you guys decide the form factor, you actually carve this. Correct. Uh, yes. It's like an injection mold. You, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like the world's coolest pencil box. <laughs> <laughs> This is really cool. Thank you so much, uh, Oguchi-san and Nobu, for coming in and show us the Vive Z. This My is pleasure. Awesome. Remember to stay on top of everything Sony makes, from games to gadgets to entertainment. You can watch more Signal videos at sony.com slash signal or youtube.com slash signal, where you can leave a comment or a question. This is Anthony for Signal by Sony, signing off.